there's something about these, Nancy, that I am just in love with for some reason. They are so cute and adorable, but they are incredibly functional because fruit flies are a fact of life. Mm -hmm. Can't get rid of them. Nothing you can do about it. Um, but this is a great way to solve that problem with having some really cute plow and hearth decor at the same time. Feature price of $22.63. This is a refillable ceramic fruit fly trap. M64884. Three easy payments of $7.54. Free shipping and handling. I always love that. Let me show you your options. So this right here, this is the cute little peach. This is the top to it. Look at how sweet that is pretty colors on that too mm -hmm, then we yeah. have the apple mm -hmm. cute little leaf that is like a snow white apple if i ever did see one that perfect juicy red color then we have i told you i'm having such a pineapple moment right now we have the pineapple look how cute and then we have this one's really pretty they have the pear as well um okay so this is like a a must-have i have to say nancy i don't know how oh, i would without this yeah, so we all want to have those fresh fruits and vegetables, whether we're getting them at the grocery store, growing them in our garden, or we're going to the farmer's market. You put them off and out on your counter for them to ripen, mm -hmm. or maybe you have a gla you know, glass of wine and don't wash the glass and leave it on the counter and everything, and the next thing you know, you have fruit flies. And they're so pesky, they're hard to get rid of, they and they're also unsightly, you know, so... This is a great way that Plow and Hearth has created for you to have something cute sitting on the counter waiting for that moment. And then it comes with a recipe for a, the secret sauce that's going to go inside. Ooh. And that's one part apple cider vinegar, one part water, and a little squirt of liquid dish soap. You put that inside this, and that's going to draw the fruit flies. The key is making sure to get rid of the, the um, cause, which is usually that ripening fruit on your counter, mm -hmm. run the garbage disposal, Clean out your garbage can. That's where that's coming from. So we're seeing our animation because that's going to really tell you how to do it. So you're going to mix together that solution, one part apple cider vinegar, okay. one part water, liquid dish soap, pour it inside there. Usually, usually over the sink, tip it over, pour it in. And you're not filling it all the way. You see there's that like volcano down there? Yep. That's creating that reservoir. So the fruit flies are going to smell that because it's fermenting. And they get inside there and they're like, ooh, this looks good. Oh, look at that. <laughs> let's go swimming oh uh, oh my goodness I'm, <laughs> i can't get out <laughs> because they're stuck in there and guess what you don't have to see it because it's ceramic and so you're taking care of the problem you're not Nancy, you just cracked me up with your impression on the fruit fly <laughs> oh this looks lovely is that an infinity pool let me give that a try <laughs> can't get out can't get out <laughs> Exactly. Um, okay, so you know that I um, used to run really cool and high-end bars back in Los Angeles for a long time, and fruit flies were the bane mm -hmm. of my existence by where we would keep the garnishes and things like that. We yep. would try everything. We would try wine. We would try different kinds of beers, a hoppier beer, a sweeter beer. We would try a soda, and you know, where you put the plastic over the top, poke some holes, looked absolutely hideous and you had mm -hmm. to see the little flies floating in there but nothing quite worked um this would have been an unbelievable solution now i have to say that the pineapple has been the most popular i'm loving the pineapple it's so stinking cute and kind of squatty looking pineapple um now did you say that recipe is you send the recipe with your fly trap the recipe's in there, but it is one part apple cider vinegar, one part water, and one quart of liquid dish soap. I'll put it on my Facebook page, okay. Nancy B for QVC as well. Um, and some people have said, oh, I don't have apple cider vinegar. Well, I will say red wine will work too. And, there, and people think, oh, my goodness, I don't want to use my red wine. Well, you know what? It doesn't take very much. And then that way you're sending the fruit flies out happy. I was going right? to say, what a way to go. <laughs> what a way to go. Uh, you right, know, sort of soothe my conscience a little bit. <laughs> I would love to take a dip in a pool of red wine. <laughs> who wouldn't um right. so i do want to say before we show how it works again that the lid has this great sort of plastic lining on it so it seals mm -hmm. really tight so if you do have that red wine in there a little touch of apple cider vinegar those fumes aren't going to be coming out the flies aren't going to escape right. through there it fits and with a really nice seal on the top so i think we're going to take another look at that animation to show how how it actually works yep 
Exactly. So you're going to mix that solution of one part apple cider vinegar or red wine, one part water, and a squirt of liquid dish soap. Okay. You're going to mix that together in just a little dish. Then take your fruit fly trap and put it over your sink. Tip it a little bit sideways mm -hmm. so that the, the solution can go in. The nice thing is, this has a nice big opening, so it's not going to be hard to get it in there. Okay. You're not filling it up. You're only just filling up that reservoir in the bottom that's created by that volcano. So the fruit flies are going to smell that. Make sure you're getting rid of the, the problem, which is the fruit on the counter and mm -hmm. so forth. But they're going to smell it. They're going to go in there, and they're going to think, oh, this is great. Let's go for a swim. They're going to go inside there, and they are not going to come out because they're going to get stuck in there. Therefore, you're taking care of the problem. You're not having to see it, like you said, those glasses with the plastic wrap on the top with the hole you see the problem who wants to see that i'd rather see that darling little pear yeah. or the pineapple on my counter and know it's taking care of a problem but then you don't have to worry about the fruit flies after your fruit fly trap does its job well nancy i'm a little disappointed you didn't do your fruit fly impression to the full max that yeah. second time round but it's okay i will live with the memory of that first one um okay so these are your options you have that peach that you have right here then you have the apple, the pineapple, which is the most popular, and then you have the pear as well. It's M64884, three easy payments of 754. Nancy, it's so good to speak with you. Oh, good to talk to you too, Julia. Thank so you nice for to see you. I can hardly I can't wait, wait till I'm back. I know, I can't wait to get you back. You take care in the meantime though, okay? Thank you, you too. Stay safe. Uh, speaking of pineapples, we had that pineapple luminary a little bit earlier that I was gushing over and I still love it just as much. Clearance price on top.